Hello, I am Colleen Burns, and today I would like to share with you a post in which combines some mindset and some lead generation. Today I share with you a post in which I call Obstacles in which you may face as a network marketer and entrepreneur. Did you know that there are three obstacles in which you face in regards to mindset and lead generation as a network marketer and entrepreneur? In the beginning stages, when you decide to become a network marketer and entrepreneur, you have the decision on to whether or not you want to have a blog. And should you decide to have a blog, those mind-boggling mindset questions in which you have in the back of your mind, which is eating away at you, would probably sound something like this. I am not good at technology, so I don't want to have a blog. What do I talk about? And why would anybody listen to me? Those three questions may be eating away at you in the back of your mind and you may wonder why would you want to become a network marketer if you have that mindset or an entrepreneur because if you have that mindset you will not be able to succeed as a network marketer or entrepreneur you want to be able to rid that mindset and to be able to rid that mindset let me help you be able to do that as I answer those questions and help you become a successful network marketer and entrepreneur. So number one, you may be facing obstacles with technology or you may not think that you are good at technology. Well that's what courses are for. That's what course programs and coaching programs are for. To help you to be able to teach you to get past that technology aspect of not knowing how to operate something. Now, I can tell you, I was never once thinking I would ever be a blogger, much less a network marketer. I always wanted to be a musician when I was younger and a martial arts screenwriter. And yet, I somehow ended up in network marketing, not knowing anything about blogs, not knowing anything about network marketing. And so I found a coach in program and which helped me become the blogger that I am today. So if you have that mindset that technology is in the way, rid that mindset because if I can do it, anybody can do it. Now number two, you may be asking yourself, well what do you talk about? That is why you want to have a target market, your niche, an audience in which you feel that you are professional in and which you know the answers to so that way you'll be able to talk about the content in which you will be putting on your blog. More on target market and a later post. And number three, why would anybody want to listen to me? Is the worst thing that you can ask yourself because that's just negative thinking. If you have this negative on thought onto of why you would think no one would want to listen to you, you would be wrong. Because if there is a particular niche a target market or an audience in which you have a passion for and which you, is an interest to you and to have how you, that is how you pick your target market and niche then you have a passion and you have something to talk about. So that kind of goes along the lines of defining your target market which I said will be in a later post maybe tomorrow's. But before I go into that we need to rid that mindset of yours to help you to become a network marketer and a better entrepreneur. So today I hope this post you got value from and if you did please like, comment and share below and you can always message me on Facebook. And for more mindset and lead generation tips you can always go to ColleenBurns.net and if you click on the link below may this help you get through a better day and rid your fears so you will become a much more improved and better network marketer and entrepreneur.